what's going on y'all this is the sarge over at gi mechanic scale modeling so this here is going to be my final reveal video of my mpc 1967 pontiac gto this is a commission bill but this is also the kit that uh lucas c was putting on build this 1967 pontiac gto um basically your own little flare on it which is exactly what I did. I actually built this as a commission build for a Vietnam veteran who I transport back and forth to the VA. We got to talk in. Um, he hooked me up when I went to Acme last year. So I'm building this for him as, you know, uh, like a thank you. And um, I want to give a shout out to Chuck over at Styrene Benders for the tri power that needed in his one to one car. Um, so this is going to be done. The only thing is I just need to get a couple decals and with the decals and stuff like that, I'm going to go to probably STS and have the decals made, but they're going to be custom decals and that'll be coming along. But I'm going to call this one complete for the group build. So without further ado, let's remove the cover and, uh, take a look at it. All right, so here we go. We actually have an uh, Pontiac Regimental Red, which is the color and stuff like that that his one to one was. Um, come out really nice. I did uh, bare metal foil or basically HVAC tape. It's not perfect. I should have probably put this in uh like a container to keep shit dust or whatever from falling on it but this is actually pretty good i also changed the wheels to red lines uh it's got a black interior now his had to try power so i had to reach out and like i said i want to give a shout out to uh, chuck over at styrene benders garage for hooking me up with uh, tri power. So let us switch positions here. All right, now we'll take a look under it. I didn't wire it, I was going to, and I thought about it. Now there is a small little, come on, come out of there, you fuck. All right, so anyway, there is a small issue with the hood. Of course, during the final stages I had to drop the hood and took a fucking chunk well, if you can see it hold on took a little chunk out of the corner there which I don't think it'll be noticeable but it is kind of noticeable because well you know I like a retard I dropped the fucking hood so go figure but this here is the uh tri power engine uh which is what he had everything had been kind of uh I should have probably put some wires on it, but he's not going to actually show it with it open, but it's at least got the tri-power in there, which I did also have to do a little bit on the bottom side to kind of get it to fit. I had to bend, let me get my damn, so I had to bend this right here a little bit down, and I also decided to do a little bit of under dress up. I didn't do a whole lot, I just basically painted the exhaust i had to cut into the frame up here to get this wide enough to get this bigger engine in there because i just took the engine out of the old 442 because i'm probably going to put something different in there so um i also upgraded to an aluminum drive shaft just to kind of give it that nice extra detail we also got metal exhaust tips which i had put on the end and it's wired in with little exhaust hangers and of course it tucks it up nice because on the kit when I put them on they hung down really low like the exhaust was dragging so I mean it looks pretty good for the most part like I said I could have probably made them a little longer but I didn't want to get them out there too far but that's basically a little bit closer on the front end. I, 
I black washed and I probably black washed a little bit too much, but at the same time, um, I used HVAC tape instead of bare metal foil, which actually does pretty decent. Um, I did a trick where it's like you put the bare metal foil on, you prime and you paint, and then you uh, after prime and you paint and stuff like that. Well, let's get out of here. I need a decal for the front window and the back window, which are going to be coming, but we'll leave it in this view because for some reason, I don't know why with the overhead camera, it looks fucking orange, but that's neither here nor there. But this is actually the color. This camera right here is actually like the true color, the regimental red, which is an actual Pontiac color. It took me a while to actually find that exact color. It's dupe color lacquer. So... Anyway, but as you can see, like I said, with the bare metal foil and stuff like that, that's what I did, and I just took a Q-tip and rubbed the paint and some of the primer off. It's not perfect, but I also know that he'll love it because it's actually based on his one-to-one. -one. So, I mean, yeah. So, Bruce Buddy, hope you like it. And uh, I'll be in touch when I get the decals and stuff like that so anyway i'm gonna keep this uh video kind of short so uh y'all enjoy your weekend and stuff like that coming up and uh yeah this is the sergeant gi mechanic scale modeling and i'm out